sometimes when you go to a uh, automobile repair facility, especially these days where a lot of people are just crooked crooks, I know that because I've been in the business. And uh, but you know, I've also seen legitimate people that uh, do work the way they should. But brakes. Sometimes when you go to the place to say, "Oh, you really need brakes bad. You need brakes," and your brakes are like really like 50 percent from percent um, like paid life left or more. So a lot of do-it-yourselfers are people who don't own anything, no tools. You know, I don't own a screwdriver. I have no idea about even how to remove a wheel or elevate a vehicle, take a wheel off, check the brakes. So if your wheels are actually exposed like this. You can just kind of wait or you can just move the vehicle until you have a clear picture of your brake caliper, uh, caliper bracket, and the actual brake pad. And as you see, the brake pad, the outer brake pad, is sunken down pretty good on this particular vehicle. When the brake pads are new, that ear on the brake pad is going to be pretty much all the way out, almost to the very, very end, or even with the uh, caliper bracket, which is this piece that I have the three lights on. So when I look at this, I go, yeah, it's getting down there pretty low. You can kind of see how much pad life you have, which isn't really much. It's, I don't know, probably 25% pad life left, but it needs a change. But what you can also do is get like a straw or a little screwdriver that can fit in there and just kind of judge how thick the backing plate is on a brake pad. You know, every brake pad has a big steel plate on it. And then with that, it's either riveted or uh, bonded with um, friction material, and that is your brake pad. So if you kind of can picture how thick the backing plate is, it's, I don't know, I'm going to say about a quarter inch. So what you do is kind of like mark off how thick that is, stick a straw in until it hits the rotor, and then you can pull it out and kind of like estimate how much pad life you have. And if you kind of see, I don't know, maybe like that much pad life is left, if you estimate that. I just thought I'd share that. It's kind of out of the box thinking. When um, you think you may need brakes and you're lazy, and you don't want to take a wheel off because maybe you're living in some sort of shitty condo like this, or you live in a city or whatever. You just don't trust anyone. <laughs> I don't trust anyone. You can also look at the brake master cylinder, but that doesn't always um, give you a good indication of how low the brakes are because as the brakes wear, Piston's going to be out more, so your brake reservoir level is going to drop. But it's dropped a little bit. This vehicle never really drops very low. It maybe drops about that much. Other vehicles will almost go to empty, depending on the capacity of the vehicle and what kind of braking system it has. Drum brakes, you know, it really doesn't they like almost last forever. And it's not going to uh, drop the, um, the level in the master cylinder as much as it would have. Four, you know, four wheel disc brakes, it wears evenly, pistons are shooting out, it's going to drop that master level, and they're all worn. So I thought I'd draw that, if you're even getting what I'm trying to grasp, and uh, yeah, have a good one. And uh, stay positive, and do the right thing, and don't rip people off.